Okay, just on a long shot, I'm uh, going to test the uh, rectifier tube. It's a 5Y3. Let me just, uh, I think it got a little dark in here. Make it even darker. Okay, 5Y3, and I want to double check my settings here. So, 5Y3, it's a two-part tube, but it's the full-wave rectifier. So, oops, sorry about that, I didn't mean to whack you. Five volts on the heater. H, R are the heater settings. Zero, six, zero, zero, zero. Zero, six, zero, zero, zero. Zero on the bias. And 22. Press P3. First one's plate number one. What I'm, you know, obviously this tube works. What I'm hoping to find, uh, is a short. Or maybe this tube's taking a beating and it's not working well. I got two replacements here to try also. Okay. Doesn't look like it heated up there. Slow. Okay. No shorts, P3. Oh, it's way down in the replace. Oh, wait a minute. Let's try that again. P3. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Rectifier button here is not so good. It's way up in the gut. But I am gonna try a different one. So let's let's pop this guy in. You know, I only tested half that last tube. So it's very hard to read. Yeah, maybe it's not a 5Y3. This one I can read. It sure looks like one. This one I can read though. 5Y3. No doubt about it. There we go. I saw the light dim. I bumped this, I bumped it right off the thing. Shame on me. Okay, no going back though. No going back. B3. It reads about it all. Funny. Something funny going on with my tester here. Dirty control. It's good. Okay, so we're going to try this one in the amp. Again, what do we hope to achieve? I don't know what else to do. Okay, so we'll put this guy in the amp. This might be a different tube. Or it could be a dead one. I haven't got many pins. Okay, I think we're ready again. Is everything ready? Are we ready? Am I ready? I think so. Here we go. Starting on big restriction. Big power restriction. Okay, looking good so far. B plus coming up.
I think we're ready now. Hey, what's happened here? Kind of a short on the input. Volume's down. Ah, good. I was a little scared taking that off. That <laughs> just behind that short, like some huge hum. Hum there, but it's not very loud. But then I'm on. I'm not up. Okay, let's go. We're going up. Going up. Going up to the next level. Take her up to the next level. Let the heaters warm up. What do we hear? Same darn hum. For all I know, the guy who runs this amp doesn't even use the microphone inputs for crying out loud. So I think I'm going to disconnect them here and call it a day because I have beat myself up silly here over this. Okay, my tube out is back in. Not with this solder and iron, but to let it warm up. Okay, so I've disconnected the hum wire, and you know what? Put this on full power, it hums right along, just humming like a crazy. So I've got it on restricted power, half restricted power. You can see from the voltmeter over yonder. Look, oop, that looked too good. A little crowded in here. Look what I got. I got this thing here. So I thought we just better give this a real try here. So I'm going to plug her in. It's not the guitar straight. It's going through a, uh, going through a little box here. To make me sound like I'm a better guitarist than I am. Turn it up quite loud. Now there's some sound coming from this box. Some of that. loud is it? Not terribly loud. But you know that's really the speaker that's doing that. I'd say anyway.
is fed with 6.3 volts, same as the heater, and the light is grounded. I'm going to investigate this just a little bit here. Let's, uh, let's take a bit of a closer look. I remember, the amp is switched on. So there's the leads, and one of them I think it goes right on the bracket. And the bracket. Maybe not. The bracket may not be grounded. Why is the leg not on? minutes ago. Isn't that interesting? The amp is connected. It's on right now, but it's on restricted power. Somehow I've interrupted the supply to this light. How did I do that? Something funny about this light. Where'd the hum go? Something about this light. Hmm. Okay, I see it now. Let's take another look here. There is something about this light. My God, it's been the light bulb all along. Okay, so. There's the two connections. One of them runs on a green wire and takes off down into the set. 
big long green wire and it comes up it connects on Right where the orange wire is. Very awkward to see. Yes, it does. That's where it gets its 6.3 volts. The other wire, the other green wire, it comes off the lug and soldered to the bracket. Bracket, of course, is screwed to the chassis. Now, the light's not on now because I floated the uh, heaters. So there's this open circuit. Open circuit through the light. Too excited, I got excited again. It's telling me it's the light bulb all this time. Okay, <laughs> let's boost up the power here. still a slight hum, but I mean, you know. Is that what has been causing the hum all this time? Is that the 5 ohms I was reading? It probably was. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. All that. The hum was the light. <laughs> and ground loop. And the light is installed right near the inputs. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Let me turn up the volume. I was playing my guitar. I don't know if I'm going to publish what I did or not, but it's playing my guitar here. How do you like that? Okay, big lesson learned. Run a light off the uh, 6.3 volts onto the chassis. It doesn't have, I can still run it. It just, I have to run separate wires up to it. Get it off the chassis. <laughs> wow. <laughs>